Hi guys, Heather here. Today we're going to be doing another look for fall. Most of the products in this tutorial are affordable products and I will have them all listed down below. So with that, let's get started. To start off, we're going to go in with our Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And I am just going to take this and spray it on my face. For foundation, we're going to go in with the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. This is in shade 53, which is beige clair or light beige. And we are going to do uh, two pumps to start. We might have to add a little bit, but we're going to dot this all over our face and then buff it in using a kabuki brush from e.l.f. All right, once you've got that buffed in, we're gonna go in with our concealer and I'm gonna be using the NYX HD Concealer in Porcelain. My bottle is completely uh, destroyed as far as labeling, but I am trying to use this up and we're getting close. So we're gonna apply this under our eyes and in the T-zone to highlight. Next, we're gonna press this into our face in kind of a stippling motion. I do use one of these pointed brushes. This is the pointed foundation brush. It does help to get into the nooks and crannies, which is why I chose to use this one. But I will use this both to spread the product and then stipple it into my face. And once you have that completely stippled into your face, you're gonna go in with a setting powder. Today we are gonna be using the Rimmel Stay Matte and this is in transparent. And I'm gonna use this for both my under eye and my whole face, but I'm gonna go in with a smaller, it is the Real Techniques Setting Brush for under the eye. This just helps get in there and make sure that it will stay. Next, we are gonna go in with our contour color, and that is our Mega Glow palette from Wet n Wild. This is in Dolce de Leche, and I'm gonna go in with the dark shade right here and apply this to the contours of my face to bring some shading. Next, we're gonna go in with our blush, and this is the pomegranate blush from Sleek Cosmetics. It looks like this, and it is a very pigmented blush. Their blushes are very, very pigmented, so you only need just a little bit, and then you wanna make sure to tap off the excess.
Today, I guess we're going for that rosy cheek look. And if it does come out too pigmented, always remember you can go back in with your foundation brush or a powder brush and kind of smooth out some of that coloring. But I actually kind of like the way it turned out today. So we're gonna move on to highlighter. And for highlighter, we're gonna go in with our e.l.f. Illuminating Palette again. And I'm going to use, let's go in with this one. We're gonna go in with this super light one and just apply that to the highlights of our cheeks. Next, we're gonna go in and do our eyes. We're gonna put down a base first, and the base that we are gonna use is the I Heart Coloring from Essence. So we're gonna apply just a couple of dots onto our eyes. I find that you really only need about three. And then you're gonna blend it in with your fingers. Next, we're gonna use our handy dandy tape trick again and apply some tape to our eyes so that way we have a nice, sharp cat eye effect. All right, now you look kinda funny, but it's gonna work, I promise. We are gonna go in with the star of our show and that is the 35O palette from Morphe. And this is one of my all-time favorite palettes, especially for fall. It is perfect. So, to start off, we are going to pick up this color right here. And with a fluffy brush, we're just gonna apply this into our crease. And next we're gonna go in with this shade right here. This is going to warm up the look just slightly, so you don't want too much, just a little bit. And we're gonna tap off the excess and apply that into our crease as well. So next, we are going to go in with a gold color. And we're gonna use this top shimmery color right here. And we're gonna apply that all over the eye. And then for just a little pop of something extra, in the center of the lid, we're gonna go in with this shade right here. And I am just gonna use my finger and pop that onto the center of the lid. And finally, we're gonna use the tape to help us draw our eyeliner. So using the Maybelline Blackest Black Eyeliner, I am going to apply my eyeliner and just paint it on like I normally would. All right, once you have done that and applied your eyeliner, you're ready to move on to the bottom lash line. So we are going to go back in with the reddish brown color right here and apply that to our lower lash line. And to finish off the lower lash line, we're gonna go in with a little bit of brown eyeliner. This is the ColourPop's Mr. Bing. This is in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I love this color. It does have a red tint to it. So we are going to just pop that into the waterline.
Once you have that done, go ahead and apply a couple of layers of mascara. The mascara we are going to be using today is the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. This is Blackest Black and it is the original formula for this mascara. Our final step for the tutorial is to apply our lip color. Today we are going to be using the e.l.f. matte lip color in rich red. It looks like this. It is a crayon type and the thing that is really cool about these is the back of it you can pop out and it becomes a sharpener. So if they ever get dull you can sharpen them back up. It makes them super easy to use and they are super comfortable on the lips. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up if you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to click that button down below because I would love to have you as part of the family. And welcome to fall. I am so excited and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.